We, we, yeah, that's right. How are you, chefs? Nice to meet you. Enjoy, have a good day. I've arrived at the Alice Springs show. And this is what it looks like at the entrance. Bit of a different backdrop. This is all happening. It's pretty busy. Got to try some of this food out soon, I think. Where else would you get complimentary tea and biscuits, including Tim Tams, at the Alice Springs show? Who would have thought? I'm at the Alice Springs show and I thought I might stay for the fireworks and I thought I uh, might just move the car over here next to the uh, police cameras there. I figure it should be safe. Good morning, it's uh, 7 a.m. and I'm just outside of Alice Springs. It's the first time I've come somewhere and pulled up in the dark after going to the show yesterday and staying for the fireworks. So it's not what I'd normally recommend, arriving at a free camp after dark. This is where I ended up and it's uh, very cool and cloudy this morning. I don't think I'd want to stay here if it rains because I could imagine it could get quite slippery. I might just go and move somewhere a little more secluded, uh, a bit more treed, a little bit further up. Uh, there's just trucks everywhere around here. Yeah, people come out here motorbike riding, four-wheel driving, walking their dogs and last night having a bit of a party and letting off heaps of fireworks. So I might just drive a bit further away. So you find somewhere a little bit more private. I don't think you could get lost here, but you might find a bit of uh, trouble getting your way back if um, you went in the wrong direction. The trusty hurricane seems to be going okay off-road so far. Not too many things have fallen off. So I imagine it could get um, very muddy in here after a bit of rain. That's some of the more fun for the four-wheel drivers, I guess quite open so I so I might just look for somewhere a little bit uh, a little bit more secluded a bit more hidden just to camp for the next couple of days I've moved about uh, a kilometer up this dirt track and found a place that's a bit more secluded feel less likely to get um, disturbed by four-wheel drivers motorbike riders and people letting off fireworks being a Sunday people might be out and about so I feel a bit more secure here, a bit more out of the way, but I guess I'll have to put Dishy out because I've got no reception here at all. This is the clay pans just west of Alice Springs. It's a bit of a cool cloudy morning here. It seems like people come here and do a bit of uh, sightseeing and a bit of forward driving and letting off fireworks last night. You can hear them going off for quite a while of a party going on here I think. Might be interesting to come here on a sunny day 
and just see the difference. What's cooking? Okay, chicken. A whole kilo of it. So I'll have a, enough for more than a couple of meals here. I'll freeze some of it. I've got some rice that I prepared earlier. Because I can, I'm gonna zap in the microwave. Um, just gonna use up these rest of this vegetable packet just to get rid of them. And butter chicken simmer sauce. Oh, she's cooked. I wanted to see how a kilo of meat went in here and it was, yeah, fine. But, uh, normally I'd only do 500 grams at a time. But that's gonna be enough for um, three or four meals, I think. Uh, 10 bucks for chicken and a little bit of rice and um, I'm not sure how much the sauce was. Joy for that back in Melbourne, so I've never had that one before, so. Bon appetit. Got a little bit there to start with and plenty more in case I get hungry. Oh, good morning uh, from near Alice Springs. I've been at this uh, free camp for three nights now and it is time to move. I'm booked into a caravan park for the next couple of nights. Um, I've got to take the uh, hurricane in for its first service in Alice Springs. So we'll let you know how that all goes. I'll get the water tank fixed and a couple other minor things, but yeah, all good so far. Yeah, I just decided to come back past the clay pans with some uh, sunshine and blue sky just to see the difference. And it's uh, definitely a lot more photogenic. Nice uh, 24 degrees today. Bit of rubbish around, a lot of fireworks been let off. Unfortunate, but yeah, what can you do? We've got uh, a big post office here. Down the street is uh, Woolworths. Okay. Coles across from okay. that. And a Bendigo Bank. And this is the arcade in Alice Springs. Oh. Well, it looks like a pretty popular, busy spot. This is the menu. Food and then it's seating all the way down here. Page 27 Cafe. Yeah. People are worried about security in Alice Springs, especially at the moment with the curfew on and had a few uh, rough weekends. So where I've seen these poles, I've parked underneath them and I figure they've got three or four cameras on there. Can't get uh, a lot safer than that, I don't think. And also, just a tip, make sure you um, don't leave things visible on the seats, bags or anything like that, that people will just smash a window to grab. I've heard of people having their cars broken into just for a, a dollar coin left on the dash or something like that. So it's the damage that's caused getting it repaired in a place like this as well, it's uh, big hassles. This is the road up to Anzac Hill. Apparently it's the uh, place to go to see the sunset. Signs all the way up the hill there. This is Anzac Hill, lest we forget. It is um, a recommended place to come up and have a look at sunset. But you can see pretty much all of Alice Springs from up there. The town has certainly grown since I was last here. Stuart Highway going up through the middle there.
you could spend quite a bit of time up here. So there you go. This is the footbridge over the famous Todd River in Alice Springs. Obviously dry at the moment. Um, I was going to wait till there was no traffic to uh, take a little video, but I don't think that's going to happen. I'm at Trailer Parts and Hire in Alice Springs, getting the caravan its first service. They do hire trailers here. I think it's about the only place in uh, Alice that you can get your caravan service. So we're all done, and I had a, um, a bit of trouble getting the, the parts for the water tank. The taps, they sold the last two yesterday in Think Water. And I went to Bunnings, couldn't find any there. So we've got a bit of a um, heavier solution. Nearly 50 bucks for this, but um, it's gonna be a bit heavy. So he's put a junction on there and we'll connect it to the plating around the water tank or probably just to Otherwise, it's going to be too heavy. It'll just snap off. So, anyway, that should solve my problems and shouldn't get any more um, stone damage. We hope. I don't think that's going to smash in a hurry. It's just if the pipe snaps off is the issue. So, just need something to support the weight of it. Just been into Arid Off Road. If there's anything you need for driving or camping, they got a heap of stuff there. So, definitely well worth a look if you're in Alice Springs. So no luck at Super Cheap or Repco for windscreen repair kits. Uh, they said they sell about 12 a day there. So it's a common problem. Anyway, I uh, suggest I go to Trusty Glass and that's like another 15 minutes walk. So I'm gonna actually go back to the car, um, you know, get something to eat somewhere and then I'll drive down there. Okay, trying to get the windscreen chip repaired. Ain't gonna happen in Alice Springs, the guy from uh, trusty glass across the road there is uh, very helpful but he said it's too busy so he put a bit of uh, sellotape on the outside of it so that'll keep it clean and dry and um, down the track if you have another couple of stone chips gotta fix them like I've got windscreen insurance anyway so he said to just drive it as long as you can as it is. I just thought a bit of preventative um, measures would be helpful, but he's basically saying with the repair kits, if you do it wrong, then they can't fix them down the track. So better just to put a bit of sticky tape over them. So there you go, the old sellotape. That's today's tip. <laughs> okay. I've just arrived at the historic telegraph station in Alice Springs. You see there's a cafe over there, information boards, and lots of walks you can do. So I think I've worked out where I'm walking. Start here, walk around to the water hole, then up to Trig Hill, and continue around to the cemetery, and then back to the car park. Oh, back to here. So this is the birthplace of town of Alice Springs. Looking through these buildings, there's so much to read in there about the history and you could spend just about all day here, I think. <laughs> there's public toilets here. There's heaps of picnic tables, heaps of space and barbecues as well. So a few people enjoying that. Looks like it's worth a visit here at the Telegraph Station. Once again on the Todd River. Plenty to see and do and read. A lot of history here. I just want you to note that um, this is my first day in shorts and sandals. And that's not just because I've run out of clean, thin socks. It's actually warm. 24 degrees today, 27 tomorrow. Sorry, Melbourne. So that's Trig Hill up there. Looks like I've got a bit of a climb in front of me. I was thinking of staying up here to watch the sunset, but maybe not. 
can go to the cemetery in the dark. Maybe I'll uh, see the cemetery in the daylight, I think. I'm at the Araloom Cultural Precinct and this is the place to come where everything's in one spot basically. You've got the museums, your galleries, your craft, there's your aviation museum and you've got a cafe over there, children's playground, public toilets, so everything in one spot and considering it's school holidays it's actually not too busy so come and visit. <laughs> Don't miss it. Very cool. So while you're in Alice Springs, it's definitely worth a stop at the Olive Pink Botanic Gardens. If you just want to have a walk around and enjoy the scenery, there's plenty of wildflowers there. There's a nice hill you can climb for some panoramic views. We've got a cafe there, toilets. There's plenty of covered areas, picnic tables, etc. So. Yeah, you can just go there and enjoy the day. Definitely worth a look. Hi, I'm at the National Road Transport Hall of Fame and Old Gun Rail Museum. It's open from 9am to 3pm, last entry at 1.30, so it takes a bit of walking around. So let's go and have a look and see what there is to see. I reckon you could spend about a week here and only see a fraction of what there is to see. It just goes on and on and on. Hey, you gotta check out this little caravan. Got a, a pop top, little door there. It's not very big. Table with everything on. It's got a um, stove near the door there as well. <laughs> Pretty cool. Don't know how old that one is, but it's tiny. There's just so much to see in here. This is the Kenworth Hall of Fame and I'm just gonna pan around some of these trucks here. And yeah, there's just so much information on the walls and on these boards and you could spend so long here, seriously. Any, any kid is, you know, you can climb up on some of the trucks and huge. Just all these old vintage cars. How cool. <laughs> I 
Good morning. It is time to leave Temple Bar Caravan Park and hit the Tanami. <laughs> I must say, if you're looking for somewhere to stay in Alice Springs, I can highly recommend Temple Bar. There's, you've got shower and toilet blocks. It is very reasonably priced. And the outlook here is pretty nice. Sunsets aren't too shabby. And Trisha, the hostess, she is really very helpful and like she'll guide you into your parking spot and the van was perfectly level so can't fault that just very helpful very friendly what more can you ask for now there is plenty being said about uh, Alice Springs and the safety at the moment and yes it is school holidays I did arrive here on a Saturday went straight to the show and after dark there was a few fights breaking out and a bit of yelling and screaming and so on and uh, you just got to stay away from it and if you're probably sensible don't go out after dark I guess you've probably heard all the stories about you know off-duty policemen being assaulted and car you know three cars being stolen the other night and homes broken into and a bit of violence there was over 100 people in a fight the other day here and but it's a into family things so yeah you just got to be sensible if you've got your car in town just don't leave stuff on the seats you might get your window smashed for a dollar coin if it's left visible so you just got to be careful where you park and be sensible about all that and if you feel unsafe just cross the street or whatever or just stay out of it stay away it is a bit of a culture shock when you're coming here for the first time I guess and yeah, you just hear a lot of um, yelling and screaming and um, you, if you're not used to that and a language you don't understand, it can be a bit disconcerting. you just got to remember at the moment, school holidays, there's an extra 5,000 people or so in that community. So, yeah, bound to be a bit of trouble, I guess. And they have had a couple of curfews here. So, And youth crime is an issue, there's no doubting that, but... It is in a lot of country towns in Australia or cities for that fact. Make your own decision, but I'd highly recommend to stay here. Um, there's plenty to do. You could easily spend a week to two weeks here and uh, probably still not see everything. I'll um, probably be back here on, on the way south again, I'm thinking. But yeah, you can just highly recommend Temple Bar Caravan Park. I felt completely safe out here. I didn't feel any issues with, you know, worrying about things being stolen or anything like that. It's just, you know, too far out of town and felt perfectly safe here. Anyway, that's it for me. Got to hit the road.